Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome to another episode of Terraria 1.2 with TXW. We are back in our Terraria 1.2 Let's Play world as always. And this episode, instead of taking on a pumpkin moon again, I thought maybe we should get some upgrades, because it's been a while since we've done any significant upgrading of sorts, and we'll need the upgrades if we want to uh, defeat the frost moon, or, sorry, the pumpkin moon. So, I have some sticky notes here, not like the computer sticky notes, but the real ones, real physical paper, like, can you hear this? Like, yeah, that was right in the mic, so, sorry headphone users, but... What we're going to do is we're going to get uh, a new tool, the chlorophyte jackhammer, to replace this hammer because I the pwn hammer because I realize that it's really slow at walls and such. We're going to try and get some um, some cursed bullets, chlorophyte bullets, spectre armor, a flare on a pumpkin mo um, for the pumpkin moon uh, arena, uh, to get a destroyer, a sorcerer, and an Avenger emblem, magic cuffs, celestial stone, a Nimbus rod, frost hydra staff, heat ray, and a frost key mold. The frost key mold is in order to get the frost hydra staff. Speaking of the Nimbus rod, I've got some things to show you guys. So, off camera, I am um, my storage room looks a bit different. Off camera, I went and I went I renamed all of these chests to their things and I took down the signs. So the signs are useless, and this is much better. I don't have to look through the signs or guess at the chest. I can just go, oh, what do I need? I need hallowed blocks. Boom, 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 boom. Hallowed blocks. There we go. That's much quicker, because normally it'd be like, uh, nope, 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 nope. Yes, wait, where was it? Nope. Yes, there it is. That's what it'd be like normally, where I'd look through the signs for it. So, yeah, that's much better. I really like that. Somebody suggested that a while ago. I didn't really do it. That I started doing in my uh, personal world, and now I did do it here. Also, I fought the Pirate Invasion, and I got a discount card, which is quite interesting. Um, it gives you about a 20% discount on things, which I thought was really cool. So, like, uh, here's the, um, should the, uh, what's his face? The arms dealer. See, he sells a, um, oh, what's something that I can easily do the math on? Uh, here, we'll use the wizard. He sells this ice rod for one platinum. But if we equip the discount card and reload the shop, it's 80 gold. So it makes things 20% cheaper, which is really cool. Um, looks like we can unequip it and still get the effects. Oh, I might as well buy a crystal ball like that. I'm going to keep that equipped because I'm going to buy a crystal ball. So I'm going to need to upgrade my accessories as well. Um... So let's do some stuff. Yeah, as you can probably see the rest of the stuff in my inventory. I'll get to that. Uh, crystal ball, crystal ball. There we go. Thank you, sir. I'll take two, actually. But, so I got the discount card. I also realized that I had both a moonstone and a sunstone. And I can uh, combine those at a crafting station that I don't know um, into a, an item. Oh, looks like an anvil. Celestial stone. Okay, so this is nice. It gives a minor increase to damage, melee speed, critical strike chance, life regeneration, defense, pick speed, and minion knockback. So, yeah, I'm going to find an accessory slot to replace that with. I know that I'm not going to replace any of these. I might uh, replace that, although it does help me run fast. Um, Fire Gauntlet, I might replace. I'm tr going to try and get rid of the GPS because all I really use it for is telling the time. And I, I can go without that. I can just use the clock. So I'm just going to keep this equipped for now. Uh, because it gives me perks bo during both the day and the night. And now finally I have a Nimbus Rod. Which I got off camera. Um, just while it was raining I went out and fought Nimbuses to get the Nimbus Rod. So angry Nimbuses. So we have that which is very useful. It creates two clouds which will uh, last for... 60 seconds each and anything that goes under them will get brutally murdered so that's going to be useful for our pumpkin moon event so i'm just going to put that back um and i have a temple key i don't have a frost key mold though i'm trying to get a frost key mold so that i can unlock the staff of the frost hydra in the dungeon so today we're going to get some upgrades and starting uh the first upgrade we're going to get is the um, chlorophyte jackhammer if I can get that, I don't think I have enough. Where do I make the color fight? Um, we do have, like, the saber and all this stuff. Oh, yeah, probably make it in a furnace. Yeah, I can only make one, so we have to go to the jungle, get some more chlorophyte, and I'll be able to make the chlorophyte jackhammer. 
And then after that, I'm going to go uh, to our little key mold farm, replace all these crimson blocks with ice blocks, try to get a frost key mold so that I can unlock the staff of the frost hydra. I think that's all we're going to try to do today because uh, I don't want this episode going too long. But anyways, guys, here we go. Guys, we are back from that little jungle excursion. I've just went around trying to gather as much chlorophyte as I could find, um, both for the jackhammer and for our future uh, outfit, uh, spectre armor. Really wish I could repurpose that chlorophyte armor right there into spectre armor, but don't think so. There should be an uncrafting table. That'd be a very, very useful thing. Please, 1.3. I'm gonna make a video of what I want to see in 1.3. Yeah, I should do that, but. So we have 37 chlorophyte bars now, so let's go over to our anvil. And we can create bum -ba -da -bum, a chlorophyte a jackhammer to replace our old pone hammer. So I'm going to uh, just put some of this stuff away, but let's check this out. We have this. That's nice. Oh, gosh. Yep. Wall. Probably should have realized that it's going to destroy the wall. But that's uh, that appears to be much faster than the, uh, than the old pone hammer. Let's go test it out on this wall over here. Especially with the uh, 
smart cursor, it's going to be a lot faster. So yeah, that's really nice. That's really good. So we have that now. So I'm going to cross that off my list. Do, 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 do. Check. Um, also cross off the, sorry, I'm just thinking to myself, Celestial Stone, Nimbus Rod. All right, so now I'm going to gather all of my, I'm going to put all this stuff away in my inventory. Then I'm going to gather up some snow blocks and I'm going to head over to our little key mold farm over here, swap out the blocks and wait for a frost key mold. So I'll be right back. Real quick guys, before I go, I was just putting some stuff away and I realized I can make at least one piece of the uh, the Spectre Armor set. I'm going to see if I can make just the hood, if I can make something else. Let's check it out. In our crafting window, we can make either the Spectre Mask, Spectre Hood, or the Spectre Pants. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I think what we want to do is... Which one is better? Looks like the Spectre Mask is a lot better, but I see everybody using the Spectre Hood, so uh, that does, I don't know, I'm just going to do the Spectre Pants for now, and I'll find out the difference between the Hood and the Mask later. It looks like the Mask is better, but from what I've seen, I don't know, so yeah. Anyways, I'll get back to you guys. who's at our door we have ourselves a frost giant that's very interesting I didn't know they could spawn but um let's fist him Golem fist oh gosh where's he going he is now uh, say okay so we are golem fisting an ice golem that seems ironic and oh gosh oh everything is dying oh gosh okay just destroy kill destroy ah there we go we got a frost core so we can build ourselves some frost armor eventually, because I already have one frost core. Uh, I'm really trying to get that frost key mold, because that'll be very useful. But the enemy rates, I don't know, something about using um, the f snow and ice, the enemy rates are going way down. Oop, get that money, get that money, there we go. So, yeah, but we do have like a pirate map, so, oh, get it, get it, okay, there we go. Alright, but uh, yeah, I, I'll just go back to the time lapse, so enjoy that music. <laughs>
guys, you saw it happen right there. We got the frost key mold. I'm sorry if this video is going extremely long, but trying to get done. This is the last thing that we have. We got the frozen key mold. Let's go get that frost hydra stuff. You can probably hear a dog barking in the background. I'm sorry about that. But anyways, here we are back home. I have all the souls I need. Uh, where do I craft this? I believe I craft it at... What's he do? Oh, pirates. Yeah, pirates. I forgot about them. Uh, we have a pirate invasion on our hands. Because I spawned them and never did anything about that. So, uh-oh. Anyways, let's just, uh, ignore the pirates, maybe? Maybe, yeah, um, following these earlier today. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore them totally. So, hopefully none of my NPCs die. But let's just head to the dungeon real quick so that we can go and get that frost hydra staff. Then I'll deal with the pirates on my own time. So, ooh. So, uh, we have to make that jump. Or, I think the place has been switched so that we will fall down to our dungeon. Or we should, um, continue going towards our little ocean arena. But anyways, I think I know where the frozen chemo old ch the, the frozen chest is. See, I'm sorry if this video has been a bit long, guys, and a bit time lapsey, but uh, we are getting things done. I just go. Oh, switched it wrong. Oh well, I'll just fly to the dungeon myself. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm really sorry you can hear that dog in the background. But let's just find this frozen chemo uh, frozen chest real quick. So, uh, just right down here somewhere. Let's actually take a look on the map. Uh, it is not. Around here, I know what it looks like. Nope, that's tombstone. Tombstone, a bunch of tombstones. It might be in this room. Tombstone, bed. Where, where, where is it? Tombstone, that vase. Ah, where is our frozen chest? Tombstone, tombstone. Skeleton, skeleton. Oh well. We'll just head down here. Oh my gosh. That's a bunch of skeletons. Good thing I, uh, looked around. Okay. I'm gonna try and make this as short as possible so we can end off the video. So let's just go grab that frozen chest, wherever it is. Frozen chest. Gosh darn it. I, I'll probably make another trivia video later this week on the things that I want to see in 1.3. Speaking of 1.3, it's set for a June release date, which I'm very excited about. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait for that. I'm going to try and beat Terraria before that, Terraria 1.2. Got some ectoplasm, nice. Terraria 1.2, and that means beating the, uh, Pumpkin Moon and the Frost, uh, Frost Moon, and that'll be it. That's pretty much Terraria 1.2 done, basically. And then we can, uh, play some Terraria 1.3. We won't start an entire new world, of course. That'd be, that'd take too long, but we, we would, uh... The Terraria episodes wouldn't be as frequent, but yeah, we are uh, quite close to beating the game. We don't- oh, there it is. Ah, uh, Staff of the Frost Hydra. Let's uh, take the chest as well, and get out of here. So yeah, we are getting close to beating the game. So anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of Terraria 1.2 TXW. We got ourselves the Frost Hydra, which summons the Frost Hydra, as you can see. So I'm going to deal with these pirates. But in the meantime, guys, if you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time, and goodbye!